I need some YouTube drama in my life. Let's hear some shit about Nicole TV, DDG, and Chris Sales. So here we are, the voice for the people reacts. Uploaded a video called Nicole TV going in. DDG not telling everything about toxic. Chris Sales X ain't playing. So this video sounds like it's gonna be a lot about the tea and I'm here to sip on it, all right? And I hope you are too because I wanna hear what's going on with everybody's lives because I ain't got one myself. <laughs> Might as well, right? So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. Y'all ready? Let's get it. Video now over the weekend, Kayla Nicole was having a good old time on Rapper Boosie's live. Rapper Boosie and Tory Lanez are known for having a turn up live with women dancing. Well, Miss Kayla was definitely debuting her moves for Rapper Boosie. Now, I can't play the full clip because Rapper Boosie had his 14 out. Listen, I don't want to be rude, I really don't. I just don't find Nicole to be attractive, like at all. Like, it's so far off the spectrum, like I just don't find her attractive. And I don't like to use the word ugly because ugly, there's no such thing as an ugly human being. There isn't. Because someone finds that person attractive. But on Nicole TV, she's a different human being and I, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing in the background, but make sure you check out my Instagram because you can see the full video popping up, okay? Kayla was doing her thing on there. Not only did she turn up on Rapper's Boosie Live, but she also announced the fact that she did meet him four years ago. This was back in Montgomery, Alabama, and at the time I was just getting famous on YouTube. It was people snapping up with me, and he was like, huh? And he ain't know me back then, and now I done thrown my ass on live, and he still don't. I hate you, babe, but I love you. Give me my dollar dollars four years ago. So this picture was taken back four years ago, and I don't think he don't know who she is. I think he did have an idea because he kept saying, I love you, I love you, I love you. And he just wants to say that to all girls. Lucy was a little disrespectful. So <coughs> her name is Kayla Nicole. Oh, okay. Back with many of girls on that live. He was showing Kayla nothing but respect and showing her mad love. So okay. I think he do have an idea of who she is. But anyway, during Kayla's quarantine, she has not only just been dancing and turning up, but she's also been saving little mice lives. She haven't seen a baby mice that was crawling around. Now keep in mind, oh. these mice, even though they're baby, they still carry on diseases that their mother has. So they do. Just be careful. Friend was in his closet trying to find some shoes to wear, and look what came out. Oh. Uh, 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 and he sound like a bird. Uh, I want to keep it so bad. Look how cute he is, y'all. He's so tiny. I can't look at mice. I just can't. I'm not going to lie to you. We've been living in this house for, I think it's going on five years now. The first three years, no problems. And then the last two years, we had, we're starting to have a mice problem. And they're field mice. And listen, I don't think that's cute at all they're annoying as fuck they're noisy sometimes i see one run and it, like it, it pisses me out i wish i was fast enough to step on one will i ever do it no because i'm scared of him but my dog gizmo sure as hell chases after and tries to catch him but he ain't no cat he's never gonna catch it oh we need to we need to hire some type of pest control and uh i heard they're expensive i'm about to just take him to the car y'all i don't have no other choice but to wrap him up because I don't want to throw him away. I'm gonna put him back in my pocket. And can somebody send me like some um Google instruct? Shut the f what? Some Google instructions yeah. like how to care for a baby rat. I mean a baby mouse. Whatever he is. I wonder can I take him to the vet? Cause that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Cause I want to keep him. He's so pretty. Girl. I put him on a napkin. So we at the gas station. Oh And I Google some things. He need warm water and a heating pad. But this right here is hot, so I'm just gonna set him right here. Oh, that's gonna dry his ass out. Y'all, what do I do? In DDG's latest video, he breaks down his song Toxic. Today. Hold on, girl, you're just gonna go from that to this? Somebody hit up Nicole TV, let her know how crazy she sounds, and to let that little mouse go. That mouse is better off dying by itself. I feel like you're torturing it now. 
he wrote about Kennedy. Now he admits that he did try to get back with Kennedy. In my previous video, I show y'all video and messages showing that they was having a conversation. It looked like they was gonna get back together, but then DDG pulled that stunt when he was seen with two girls by paparazzi in the back of his car, which he said that he was just quote unquote driving them home. But obviously they had a back and forth on Twitter. That video link is popping up. If you wanna check that video out, they had a back and forth and after that Kennedy blocked him all together. So Damn. they stopped talking after that situation. And ever since then, DDG has been trying to do petty things to get her attention like reaching out to Tiana, going on vacation with Adrian, making this toxic song, which this guy, every video I see coming from him is with another female. And I know they're just videos, I know y'all are just acting, but that's not gonna help you get your girl back. Kennedy has not responded to this song at all. Like she didn't react to it, she hasn't said anything about it. Clearly you can see that Kennedy is over this whole situation altogether. Now let's go back to the song Toxic real quick. Now, okay. Yeah, let's go to the song because I did see that he uploaded that song, but I didn't get a chance to hear it. So let's talk about that. The verse in the song was, when I sent you those roses to your crib, the shit was cool though. Now, he did send roses. These are the roses. Kennedy did post these roses on her social media, which she had to take these roses down quickly because people were assuming that these roses was from another guy. But little do anybody know this was from DDG, which he admitted that these roses was from him. The next line says, see you at the function next week with a dude though. Now, the only function that happened after he sent those roses was YouTube Black. That's the only function that I would know that they would be at together. And I looked at all the footage and it looks like Kennedy was not there long. I don't think she came there with a dude because after that function she actually ended up going out with Corey and two other girlfriends and I didn't see a guy there at all. So YouTube Black is about networking. So if you're at a function and somebody comes up to you and they trying to network or collab, Kennedy has every right to do so. She yes. can single. She can do whatever she yes. wants to do. So it's not why why is this so unfair? Businessmen can go ahead and network with a whole bunch of the with a whole bunch of women if they wanted to. But when a businesswoman tries to do it you're a hoe, you're a slut, you're a skank, you're dirty. I'm definitely not getting back with you because you're messing around. Why, why does it automatically have to come to that? Why is that the conclusion of it all? She can network too, DDG. Don't be selfish. Not necessarily that she was talking to somebody. She could have been just talking about networking or collaborating. Some Diddy G got this little jealousy thing about him, right? And, and even if, if it wasn't business related, she can talk to whoever the fuck she wants to talk to. They're not together. She'll take one thing and try to run with it and make it bigger than what it is without getting the full information and not knowing that this is just a friendly conversation where we're just elaborating. It's not everybody I speak to that I want to talk to or be with. I'm not saying this to start anything. Please do not go to these guys' social media and I'm pretty sure everybody saw this themselves. Now the only two people outside of Kennedy's group is E-Rock and Giovanni. Those are the only two guys I've seen her with outside of her normal group that she hangs out with all okay. the time. E-Rock and Giovanni. But like I- Damn, is that his hair? Let me run that real quick. Is that his hair? Who's that, Giovanni? I don't know these guys. Well, both of them, they have nice, beautiful hair. But look at the one over there on the right side. Oh, damn. That she hangs out with all the time. D-Rock and Giovanni. But like I said, this does not mean that she's trying to talk to these guys. She could be just networking and collaborating. There's plenty of other guys we're gonna see Kennedy with. Now moving on to Chris Sales. Chris Allegedly Sales. his baby mother Erica no longer wants to have his baby. She posted up looking like I need to get an abortion. Now since she went public, Chris has not reached out to her. He hasn't confirmed or denied this situation. He's just been completely ignoring her and this is not helping her in this situation. She complains that she's sick, that she needs help, that she needs assistance and he's not doing anything about it. But speaking of Chris Sales, he recently did a smash up past video and a lot of people were hitting me up because at the timestamp 720, it looked like Savvy walked in. But according to Savvy, Savvy, she said that is definitely not her. She said she is over him. She is not going back to him. She actually posted something on her social media. She said, she said, so raw, they can't stop speaking on my name. Keep my name alive, baby boy, because you can never have the chance in my presence again. Hold your LMPs. Don't try to go back and forth with me, love. So Savvy is definitely letting you no, that was not her. <laughs> that ain't me. Savvy moved on because I recently seen her on live with Nate, which supposedly supposed to be Chris Frank. Wait, Nate? Isn't that that YouTuber that just recently broke up with his girl? And he's been filming. He's been filming with females every day. Is that him? And at least I thought they were friends. Well, Nate was on live with Savvy and was trying to get her to come to his house with his quarantine. He wanted her to be his quarantine babe. And they were doing a whole lot of flirting. So, sis is moving on. And not only was she flirting with Nate, but she also was flirting with Charcoal as well. I don't think she's worried about Chris at this point. I think she's moving on and having fun. And Let her have her fun. YouTuber. Who knows? I don't know. I'm just assuming. Let her have her fun. Oh, I'm gonna make it lift for you, homie. You said what? 
I'm gonna make it lick for you. I don't know why you playing. Houston. Yeah. Come tomorrow. Oh, you fighting? Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Why do people talk on live with each other? These are personal conversations that you can easily do through FaceTime with each other without everyone watching. But this is social media. I would never take a conversation that two people are having on Instagram Live serious. They want you involved in their conversation for a reason. It's publicity, you guys. Come on. I mean, it's worse over there, though. Yeah. You didn't forget the lighter. Why should I ask some girls who girls look them out? So you got lighter, she said. I said, oh, my fault, Corona, I get it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. She just shook her head and kept walking. I said, damn. Well, she's just, I'm a Corona over here. Y'all are lying. <laughs> Yo, we got the lights over here. Over here. Yo, Kevin. And we got the spray. Let me see your fridge. Let me see if it's first coming. Let me see if you got, oh. if you got groceries in your fridge and let me see if you got toilet paper. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you the toilet paper first, okay? And that's something so, look, that happened right there. Look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I see you trying to hit with a view. You trying to get a view in it. Hold on, you see it? That's the toilet paper that I love. I love Scott. The only Scott I will ever love. Yes, yeah, dude. Oh, um, you don't want to see the fridge, though. Why? It's, it's a fridge right here. It's a, oh, it's a, you like it. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's a bachelor's house. What do you expect? There's not going to be much in there. Oh, my God. There ain't a woman living in there. You Look in here though. Boy, that's not enough. You don't even got to get the Well, shit, come help me. Yeah, you need some help. 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 You need Y'all see the games to be playing? Say, but we gonna, we gonna lock down today. Let her play it. Guys can play it. See, Why not females? Midnight, so you still got enough time to hop on the plane and get here before we get locked in. You me? They're fighting it. Savvy is not looking cute in this video. It's too much makeup. That's what it is. She's got too much blush on her face. I like the more natural look. Why can't women be a little bit more natural? If you're gonna wear makeup, make it natural. Well, I'm going to come there and catch Corona and then be dead. Nah, you're going to be good. I'm going to take care of you. Uh, this, 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 I'm going to spray you with some Lysol. Huh? You think you're going to spray me down with Lysol? Yeah, to make sure you're good. You look funny. <laughs> well, you got chapstick on or lip gloss? I got lip gloss. This is Nick's butter gloss. You got a flavor? You got a flavor? Huh? This guy. It's, it's, it's bad. This guy. Oh, let me taste it. This guy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You can see that coming from a mile away. He's gonna ask about you what kind of shit you're wearing on your lips. Of course he's gonna say that shit. There was nothing cute about that. And you got stupid girls like Savvy falling for stuff like that. That's why, that's why all these girls get treated the way they do. Y'all see the signs? We all still want them. <laughs> Yo, where to start? I don't know. You, you gotta. He might be in here. To be honest with you, check and see. Not in here. Damn, I'm about to dip though, so I'm gonna talk to you later. Right. My baby says Deli in here. All right, well, that was today's video. Tell me what you thought about that. <coughs> I'm sitting Indian style on my chair right now, y'all. Nicole TV is this wacko trying to raise that mouse. And it's time for Kennedy Simone to move on. DDG, leave her the fuck alone. You're not good for her. You guys tried multiple times, it's not gonna work. Let her be available for the right man. And Chris Sales, there's nothing else to say about that man. He needs to get his shit together. And Nate and Savvy. I don't know. All right, you guys, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. 
See you in the next video. Peace.